Hey there guys, we've got news for Global for April 11th, and once again it seems that it's kind of a nothing week. Um, it looks like they're cutting all the content for the week, they are cutting, you know, all the unit stuff, um, the events, and even the banner itself, the new unit is being converted to like a freebie unit, kind of like Gladiolus, and he's just being given away. Um, which is kind of kind of amusing, but anyway, let's go over the little bit of stuff we do have So the new unit for the week is wings of destiny stern and like I mentioned um, Instead of putting him on a banner instead of giving us the war of the visions <coughs> You know the event the bosses the upgrades the gear all that kind of stuff um, it seems to all be completely cut away and then as far as Wings of Destiny Stern himself, he's being put into the April Crest Pass, similar to Gladiolus. If you remember, they did the same thing for Gladiolus, where they just took a unit and made him into a freebie. So, you know, you are getting a free Neo Visions Plus for free. Um, so as you see here, one of the milestones on the freebie tab is Wings of Destiny Stern. You get him. You're also going to be getting a grand total of 100 fragments uh, completely for free. And you get that from running last week's event. They're not even giving you the War of the Visions event. Um, yeah, Global just, you know, cuts everything these days. The game is not doing well. But yeah, so, you know, the unit is being free, and if you decide to spend extra cash, you can get the second side and get another 100 fragments. Um, you can also spend even more cash and buy even more fragments, or even more cash and get another copy, which you can shatter for even more fragments. Um, it looks like if you want to get EX3, you would have to spend cash on all the bundles, the extra pass, and you would also need his VIP coins, it looks like. At a quick math, it looks like you would have to spend a lot to get Stern. Um, is Stern worth it? Not really. That's probably the reason he's, be, he's being given away for free. He's a Neo Plus um, light element damage dealer. He's a physical damage dealer. He's an SLB. He chains Absolute Mirror. Uh, he does have some nice categories, but he is light element. Um, he is a JP Neo Plus, meaning he doesn't have any kind of relevant amplify. No real utility to speak of. Um, his damage is right here. It's, you know, on par with the other JP Neo Pluses. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So, kind of whatever. Uh, but there he is. Uh, yeah, so should you spend <coughs> any money on Stern? I would say no, but it is totally your decision. If you want to spend money on him to get EX3, by all means, go for it. But uh, at a quick glance, as long as you buy his VIP coins, um, you can get EX2 for free because you're going to get the one copy, and you're going to get 100 fragments here, and then you're going to get 50 more from VIP. That's EX2, and that's really all you need. Like the unit, you're not going to use him anyway. So, you know, grab his VIP coins. You might use them like on one stage at some point, someday. Who knows? Probably not. Uh, and then the banner for the week is just a rerun of old units. They're giving you a step up. The step up does have an armory ticket. You know, those are always neat. And then uh, the new vision card is, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Knights of Grand Shelt or Paladin of Grand Shelt from the, uh, the S-Rib Destruction event. In any case, here's the card. Um, and the card seems fine. Uh, it's for Light Element and Clash of Wills to get full benefit. So that's going to be quite a few units, honestly. Uh, so that would be Ricked, just from some, you know, some good choices. Ricked. 2B, Mirai, um, who else is Light and Clash of Wills? That matters. That, that's the important thing. That matters. Like, you know, A2, but no one's using A2. Uh, in any case, you get the idea. There's a few units this could be good for. Should you pull for it? No. Not really. Um, it does have some killers as well. Beast and Stone. It's like, you know, 
don't get me wrong, it's a very good card. I'd love to have it, but should you spend whatever it costs, I don't know, 25, 30k, something like that, 22, I don't know, I didn't do the math. Should you pull for it? No, because these units are all outdated. Uh, Noctis and Mirai, you know, they're okay, they're fine. If you don't have them, they're good. Um, Sukiko and, Rober and Roberta, uh, again, they're fine, but they're super, super old, and I would assume many players have them. And if you don't have them, still, don't don't pull for them. But yeah, that's pretty much all the news. And then there is a mention of a live stream for, you know, the Clash of Wills, whatever it's going to be. Tony and Justin, we're not getting Hiroki, so that's probably going to be a pretty much a nothing live stream it'll be you know here's the new unit here's clash of wills enjoy are they going to address all the issues in the game probably not uh so what else are we missing from the event uh so they're they're cutting out one of the units alaya rundall so alaya it was a neo visions not a plus um she was not a good unit so i'm not really sad that we're skipping her but we are skipping her uh, we're also skipping the crown stage, but you know what Global did about, um, I'm not crown stage, the silver or the azure pearl stage. Uh, we also skipping the crown stage, which was for Venera's upgrades. Um, it is a different unit in JP, I do realize that, but you know, it wouldn't have been that hard for Global to give us Venera crowns for our Venera, but you know, they just don't care anymore. So there it is. So you're missing all these crown stages along with all the lapis and toys that come with that. And then, of course, the actual event itself, the series event. This was a War of the Visions event um, with all the boxes. This is all being cut entirely. Uh, all these stages are just missing because they would rather just put on the, uh, you know, go back and run last week's event instead because why give you the event that came with the units we're also apparently skipping the new trial that came with this uh strong soldiers war to the castle this was one of those crafting stages kind of like visions of medine if you remember uh, visions of madwin um you go in here and you do the stage and you do it with all the special missions you kill odin and it gives you the master scroll which you upgrade and it's a really nice piece of gear but uh, they're cutting that too. Also, not to mention, last week we cut the Grace of Water uh, trial. We're still missing that. I figured maybe they bring it this week, you know, because this week is not much going on. But of course not. We're not getting that either. We're not getting anything. The game just cuts everything. And even the unit itself is basically being cut because it's given, given away because he's that bad. And they're doing nothing about it. Anyway... There's the news. I wish I could be more positive and have better things to say, but what am I going to say? What am I supposed to say? I can sugarcoat it and act like they're not cutting everything out of the game, or I can just tell you the truth, and there it is. So, anyway, I guess I'll see you next time. See you then.